This video will help you understand the process of alpha decay. Alpha decay is a type of radioactive decay. Radioactive decay can include alpha decay, beta decay, or gamma decay. This video is about alpha decay. When alpha decay occurs, a large unstable nucleus emits an alpha particle. which we'll label here. The large unstable nucleus that lost the alpha particle is left as a slightly smaller, more stable nucleus. The process can be summarized in a diagram. The parent nucleus, which we'll show on the left, breaks up into an alpha particle and a daughter nucleus, which we'll show on the right. Let's take a closer look at an alpha particle. An alpha particle is made up of two protons, shown here as yellow circles with a plus sign, and two neutrons, shown here as blue circles. Because it has two protons, and helium is element number two, it is actually a helium nucleus, so its symbol contains the symbol for helium, HE. The atomic number two, written on the bottom left of the symbol, shows that this nucleus has a charge of plus two which we see must be the case because an alpha particle has two protons, and protons are positive. The number on the top left is called the mass number. Every proton and every neutron has a mass of one, so two protons and two neutrons have a total mass of four. So the mass number of an alpha particle is equal to four. The number four is written on the top left of the symbol like this. So an alpha particle can be represented by this symbol, HE with a 4 on the top left and a 2 on the bottom left. Or it can be represented by the lowercase Greek letter alpha. And sometimes it is shown as an alpha with a 4 on the top left and a 2 on the bottom left of the symbol like this. All three symbols are acceptable. Let's look at some examples of alpha decay. This is the equation for the alpha decay of the isotope americium-241. Americium-241 is the parent nucleus. Neptunium-237 is the daughter nucleus, sometimes called the daughter product. And the other product is an alpha particle. The numbers on the bottom left of each symbol represent the charges. All three numbers here are positive. In the nucleus of an atom, the positive charges all result from protons. So this is also the number of protons, or the atomic number. At this point, it's best to think of these numbers simply as the charges on the particles. We see that in alpha decay, charge is conserved. The total charge on the left side is 95, and the total charge on the right is 93 plus 2, which is also equal to 95. Charge is always conserved in nuclear reactions. Now we'll look at the numbers on the top left of each symbol. This number represents mass. In the nuclei of atoms, the mass is contributed by protons and neutrons. So this number is also equal to the total number of protons and neutrons in each nucleus. The total number of protons and neutrons is called the mass number. But at this point, it's best just to think of this number simply as the mass of each particle. We will see that mass is also conserved. The total mass on the left side is 241, and the total mass on the right side is 237 plus 4, which is also equal to 241. The mass represented by the top left number is always conserved in nuclear equations. When we're using mass in nuclear equations, we don't worry about units. We simply express it as a number. Remember, HE with a 4 and a 2 is only one way of depicting an alpha particle. We could also use the Greek letter alpha with a 4 and a 2 on the left like this, or simply an alpha symbol like this. Here's another example. The equation for the alpha decay of the isotope radium-222. Notice in this example, the alpha particle is written before the daughter nucleus on the right. 
It doesn't matter at all what order these are in, as long as they're both on the right side. If you check, you'll see that charge is conserved. The total charge on the left side is 88, and the total charge on the right side is 2 plus 86, which is also equal to 88. If you check, you'll see that mass is also conserved. The total mass on the left side is 222, and the total mass on the right side is 4 plus 218, which is also equal to 222. Of course, here the alpha particle is depicted as a helium-4 nucleus, but this equation could also be written like this, or simply like this. Sometimes we're asked to supply a missing particle in an alpha decay equation. This is easy if we use the laws of conservation of charge and mass. Let's do an example. Here we see that uranium-238 undergoes an alpha decay and we're asked to supply the nuclear notation for the missing particle. We can start by finding the charge on the particle. The total charge on the left side is 92. So the total charge on the right side must also be equal to 92. The charge on an alpha particle is 2. So the charge on the other particle must be 90 because 2 plus 90 equals 92. So now that we know the charge on the missing particle is 90, we'll write 90 on the bottom left of its symbol. Looking at the atomic numbers on the periodic table, we see that element number 90 is thorium with the symbol TH. So we write the element symbol TH here for thorium. Our next step is to find the mass of this isotope, the number that is written on the top left of the element symbol. The total mass on the left side is 238. So the total mass on the right side must also be equal to 238. The mass on an alpha particle is 4. So the thorium isotope must have a mass of 238 minus 4, which is equal to 234. 4 plus 234 equals 238. So we can write 234 in here for the mass of the isotope. So the nuclear notation for the missing particle is the symbol TH with the 234 on the top left and 90 on the bottom left. Now we can say that this is the balanced nuclear equation for the alpha decay of uranium-238. Notice that in this alpha decay, a uranium atom changes to a thorium atom. Note that thorium is two elements down from uranium on the periodic table. Or its atomic number decreases by two. In other words, in an alpha decay, the atomic number of the daughter product is always two less than the atomic number of the parent nucleus. We can see that in this case, as well as other cases of alpha decay, that the atomic number of the daughter nucleus, or daughter product, is always two less than the atomic number of the parent nucleus. We can also see that in this case, as well as other cases of alpha decay, that the mass of the daughter nucleus is always four less than the mass of the parent nucleus. Both of these statements make sense because an alpha particle has an atomic number of two and a mass of four. In some cases, you may be given the daughter nucleus for an alpha decay and asked to find the parent nucleus. Here's an example of such a question. The daughter nucleus of an alpha decay is lead 214. Write the nuclear notation for the parent nucleus. We'll write the products first. We start by writing the symbol for lead, Pb. The 214 and lead 214 means that 214 is the mass number or the atomic mass of the isotope. So we write 214 on the top left of the symbol. Locating lead on the periodic table, we see that it's element number 82, which means it has 82 protons, and the charge on the nucleus is positive 82. So we write 82 on the bottom left of the symbol here. Because this is an alpha decay, it means that the other product must be an alpha particle which we write as a helium-4 nucleus here. To find the identity of the parent nucleus, we can use the conservation of charge and mass. In an alpha decay, there's only one reactant. The total charge on the right side 
is 2 plus 82, which equals 84. So the total charge on the left side is also equal to 84. We write the charge 84 here, where it will be on the bottom left of the symbol. We locate element number 84 on the periodic table, and it's polonium, PO. So we write PO here for the symbol of the parent nucleus. To find the mass of this nucleus, we use the law of conservation of mass. The total mass on the right side is 4 plus 214, which equals 218. So the total mass on the left side must also be 218. So we write 218 on the top left of the symbol for polonium here. So this is the nuclear notation for the parent nucleus, the symbol PO with the 218 on the top left and 84 on the bottom left.